Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 2, Lesson 11, representing ratios with tables. The objective says, I can use a table representing a ratio to find equivalent ratios. A recipe for trail mix says, mix 7 ounces of almonds with 5 ounces of raisins. There's a table that has been started to show how many ounces of almonds and raisins would be in different sized batches of this trail mix. Complete the table so that the taste of the mixture remains the same, that there's not too much almonds for how many ra raisins there are or vice versa. So this first row in our table shows one batch, seven ounces of almonds with five ounces of raisins. So when I look at the next row, I have a 28 in the column with the almonds, and I think to myself, hmm, how do I turn a 7 into a 28? Oh, I must have made four times as much. So that's four batches, which means I need four times as many raisins. So I need 5 times 4, or 20 ounces of raisins, so that the flavor of the trail mix stays the same. The next row shows a 10 in the raisins column. So again, I'm going to think back to that original one batch recipe and wonder to myself, well, how much bigger is this? That's two times bigger. So that means I made two batches of this trail mix, which means I would need twice as many almonds, or twice as much since we're weighing them, twice as much almonds. So I would need 14 ounces of almonds. Okay, the last row has three and a half in it. And I'm going to think to myself, hmm, how do I turn 7 into 3 and a half? Well, the number's smaller, so I'm going to be dividing or multiplying by a fraction. And 7 divided by 2 is 3 and a half. So I'm making a half size batch of my trail mix, a smaller batch, maybe for a shorter hike or for a smaller number of people. So then I need to take the 5 ounces of raisins and also cut that in half. And so I would only need two and a half ounces of raisins to maintain the same flavor uh, that I'm looking for of salty and sweet. The objective says I can use a table representing a ratio to find equivalent ratios. So I'm able to move up and down the table as I need by thinking about how many times bigger or smaller um, each of these parts is, considering how many batches I'm making, am I doubling, quadrupling, halving, etc. Thanks for watching.